Okay, so now we're looking at the two skill sets. Skill set number one is swinging the bat, right? The mechanical emphasis of actually swinging the thing. And two is hitting the ball. These are two completely different skill sets. Swinging the bat is just you and the bat. Hitting the ball is actually coordinating your swing time with the pitch time. It's completely different. If you apply the principles of swinging the bat, of making mechanical adjustments only, to actually hitting the ball, that's when you get into trouble, and that's why I'm bringing this up. So the two skill sets that you're learning is the mechanical hitter is going to be working on swinging the bat. He has a mechanical emphasis. He's zoomed in on his body movements, his stride, transfer, swing flow, the barrel, the being you know, uh, precise and accurate and having leverage and all that is great. Um, uh, but hitting the ball is a completely, it's a completely different animal. You're matching the swing time with the pitch time. You're zoomed out. You've got the big picture in mind. Okay? Your mechanics are something that happen automatically because you've done your rehearsals, you've done your swing, it's in your automatic mind. Your swing is rehearsed perfectly. And, and uh, just like when you're, you're digging a hole with, with a pickaxe, it doesn't, you know, you're going to line up your lever, you're, you're going to line up your levers perfectly. You're not even going to have to worry about it because you're just digging a hole. That's it, because you know what you're doing. Um, so you got to match your swing time with the pitch time. You're zoomed out looking on the big picture. Your context gives you the information to understand Am I not coping with the pitcher? Am I not synchronizing the release of the pitch? Am I not ti timing the pitch? Am I getting blown away? Uh, is my swing, is it not repeatable? Is, is my stride not coordinated with my transfer? Is, uh, uh, am I able to match my swing time with the pitch time? Do I have a good swing flow? Is my swing flow timing good? So, um, you know, you're, you're looking at all these things because you have context and you need to identify the variables that you have to deal with. And that's why you need the timing solutions to make the adjustments to cope with all the variables. Okay? And um, uh, I'm going to show you some really neat things coming up here in just a minute. But in order to have this ability, it's, it's a perfect repetitive training. It access to your most powerful ability, I touched on earlier, the most powerful ability that we possess is our high processing speeds of our automatic or subconscious mind. Okay? Our subconscious mind is powerful, but we have to program it. For every, for every neuron in our mind or in our brain that recognizes or that senses movements, there are two neurons that suppress the action or the movement, that suppress so that there are no distractions. Imagine a cheetah going after a gazelle. You know, he, he's, he's very acutely sensitive to the, the movement of the gazelle, but he also has to filter out everything that's going to be a distraction. And we do it every day when we're we're driving a car, we're walking down the street, or whatever we're doing, we filter out all sorts of things when we're hitting. And something with hitting, we need to filter out the pitcher's motion so we don't get jumpy, all right? So um, we have access to our most powerful ability, our high processing speeds of our subconscious mind. It's a million times faster processor than our, uh, in a, in our automatic mind gives us our natural moves. Now, th now think about this. We wouldn't even have natural movements without the ability to use our automatic mind, without being able to program through repetitive motion. Now, you have to, you have to use good code, okay? You have to code your movement correctly. If Tiger Woods was going to play uh, a, a round of golf or, or play in a tournament, and he, he takes a week off and he doesn't, you know, he doesn't practice at all because he's, in his mind, his swing is perfectly coded. Fine, it's coded. But what does he do? He practices every day before. Why? Because he wants to rehearse, to refresh the code every day. You're always refreshing your code. And that's the same thing when you're hitting. You're always refreshing. And that's why your swing feels a little different every day. 
which is why it's important to understand natural hitting and the natural hitting indicators. Now for hitters, it'll be natural hitting touchstones, the things that you feel. And, and uh, the, these, these are some things that, that I'll go into a little bit later. Um, but our, our conscious mind now is what we use to identify the things that are giving us trouble. But our automatic mind is what gives us this ability to be able to um, react to something without even without, without thinking about it. Okay. But so those are the, the two skill sets: swinging the bat, emphasis on the mechanics, and hitting the ball, which is coordinating the mechanics and synchronizing a ball that's moving at you, thrown by somebody who's trying to make it impossible for you to hit the thing.